It means they're not. I am. Turns out the Egyptians had the right idea. There's an Egyptian story about how they would weigh someone's heart to see if they could make it into the higher realms of the afterlife. As long as the heart was light enough, then they would pass through the gates. What does light mean? It means they're not carrying any grudges. They're not attached to material things or even overly attached to people. They've let go. And what is the number one superpower that can lighten the heart? Forgiveness. And it's one of the most difficult ones for people, but it is truly the most transformational. It lifts all the weight off us and gives us a new kind of dignity. Of course, one of the great Nazarene's main messages was also forgiveness. Forgiving people even as they executed him. That's powerful. Yes, people really do awful things. But if we don't forgive, we carry that burden too. You know what they say about anger? It's like drinking poison and expecting the other person that you're angry at to die. It doesn't work that way. Anger slowly kills the person who is angry. According to traditional Chinese medicine, anger is stored in the liver. That's the last place we want to store toxins, but it's something we can't help. And here in the West, we are often recommended pills for that. But I thank my lucky stars that I learned and now teach Qigong. That's the cultivation of life force energy. It helps us literally purge the negative emotion of anger from the liver. Of course, a dash of forgiveness goes a long way to make that real. And karmically, when we forgive, we let go of any bag of karma we're holding, and then the other person actually picks it up. So ironically, forgiving someone is sometimes the best way to get karma started on someone. If they have committed a wrong, you holding anger and a grudge and hate could actually reverse manifest and keep the person from actually having to attribute for what they've done. Know that person was doing the best they could at their level of consciousness, and so are you. And as we all make mistakes, forgiveness is the quickest route to ensure that we too will be pardoned. After all, judge not, lest ye be judged. Just picture what you're mad at and picture it bubbling out of your head and floating away. That's it.